Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to discuss about error detection. Uh, there are two ways uh, you can uh, go for the error detection. So one is the Venn diagram method and another one is a syndrome word calculation. Uh, Venn diagram method, uh, there are uh, some disadvantages. Uh, that's why we are moving from uh, Venn diagram to this uh, syndrome word calculation, right? So here you need to understand that while you are storing the data bits into the memory, right? Okay. So what will happen? So here you need to understand that. So you are sending the data. Okay. So this is your memory. So while you are sending the data bits to your memory. Okay. So here during the syndrome word calculation, uh, first uh, check check bits version 1 will be generated right okay so for uh, discussion for better understanding i am using these terms okay so now while you are storing the data bits to the memory so the check bit version 1 will be generated and same time while you are retrieving the data bit right data bit from the memory again one more version will be generated that is called check bits version 2 will be generated right okay so now how we are going to calculate the syndrome word now here already i told you that these two versions right okay so check bit version 1 will be generated while you are storing the data bits into the memory then check bit version 2 will be generated while you are retrieving the data from the memory right now so how this syndrome word will be calculated? Now you need to do the XR operation between version 1 and version 2. So here your syndrome word will be calculated based on this. The result will be the syndrome word, right? Okay. And here you need to understand that. So example, if I'm saying that uh, I'm just considering that four bits are there in the check bit right okay and here syndrome word also will have the four bits and you know, because here check bit version one is having four bits and check bit version two is having four bits so result will be four bits now there are three options three options are there one there is no uh, sorry uh, there is no one right in your uh, syndrome word there is all are zero all zeros right this is the first version right okay and second version only one bit will be one right okay and third one is more than one bit will be one right okay so here first one is all are zeros there is no error if the syndrome word is having syndrome word is having all zeros there is no error in the data bit right okay then there is only one bit out of this four any one bit is having one right only one bit portion is having one that is error in the error in the check bit bit right okay example if i am saying that 0, 0, 0, 1. Right. Okay. So this is called first check bit 1. Right. Then example, if I'm having a 0, 0, 1, 0, then this is called check bit 2. Then here, then check bit 4 will come and there is here check bit 8 will come. This is how. Right. Okay. So in the next video, we will see that how the check bits are calculated, then how the syndrome, syndrome word will calculate. Right. But if more than one bit is have holding the value of 1, then there is an error with the data bits, right? So now this is the conclusion. You need to understand that while we are storing the data bit into the memory, the check bit version 1 will be generated. While you are retrieving the data from the memory, then check bit version 2 will be generated, right? If you are doing XOR operation between check bit version 1 and check bit version 2, then you can calculate the syndrome word. Fine. So this is how you can calculate the syndrome word and you can find out whether there is error in the data bit or not. Right. Okay. So with the help of the syndrome word calculation, we can detect the error. Right. Error detection can, is, uh, sorry, error detection is possible. Right. Okay. So next video, we will see that how to calculate the 
check bits then how many check bits are required say example if you are having a 8 bit data then how many bits need to be there in the check bits and if the data bits are 16 then how many bits need to be there in the check bits right so this is th this one we will discuss in the uh, next video